Hello friends, today we are going to discuss one of the important topic endomembrane system. Endomembrane system. You know, what is endomembrane system? A set of organelles and membranes which together work as a common functional entity. What is that functional entity? Yes, it is nothing but labeling, packaging, and transport. That means packaging and transporting is a main crux point for this endomembrane system, both within the cell or destined to outside. Simply called intracellular transport or export. That means it's like delivery system. And what are the components involved in this endomembrane system? Majorly, it is called GERL region. That means what we call Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, and lysosomes. In addition to the GRL, there are also associated elements which together all together work as a common functional entity and which is a crux point or the basis for endomembrane system. You know, GERL region. That means Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, and lysosome. These are the Core elements, what we call. In addition to that, there is also, required, there is also presence of nuclear annula, vesicles, vacuoles, plasma membrane, which all together function as endomembrane system. You know, for example, take a pancreatic cell. The role is to secrete the digestive enzymes and these digestive enzymes has to get transported to somewhere, so that means in the spot of digestion, what we call small intestine, for breakdowning of our nutrients. And how it is done? That means in the pancreatic cell, after they get synthesized and they have to pack it properly and transport, so that what we call exocytosis outside the cell, then reach the destination part. We are not bothering about how we treat the small intestine to blood circulation appropriate portal system that means blood vessel it may reach but where we should concern about that system which will enable us to transport up to plasma membrane that means exocytosis how the function ends and how it performs it's all about endomembrane system that means transport both within the cell and export okay the main component as, as i said GERL Golgi complex endoplasmic reticulum and lysosomes so the core elements, apart from this, there is, there is also involvement of nuclear envelope, vesicles, vacuoles and plasma membrane, which all constitutes endomembrane system. For example, how, say for instance, we have to take a pictorial representation for better understanding. Say this is the nucleus and this is the envelope. What we call nuclear envelope. And this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum means it contains of ribosomes. In particular, we will details we will discuss about the structural components when we when we discuss about its informational details, what we call cell biology issues, okay? And the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is also in continuous with the rough endoplasmic reticulum. R E R rough endoplasmic reticulum. This is nuclear envelope. Then this is a Golgi complex. The flattened sacs, what we call sister name. This is cis phase, and uh, this is trans phase. And 
find these or the transport vesicle they will reach here then this trans space it is cis space this is the lysosome then this is the plasma membrane from here it will go up pincher then finally it will release the content release the content what we call exocytosis this is the plasma membrane This is exocytosis, and this is the lysosome, the transport vesicles. These are different transport vesicles. Okay. It is about the pictorial representation of how they get transport. That means how it involved in endomembrane system first. For in a synoptic way, we will discuss then. We can discuss at length. Say the rough endoplasmatic film. Smooth endoplasmatic film are also present in continuation to rough endoplasmatic film. For understanding, I have done only the rough endoplasmatic film. Here, a protein has been the rough means ribosomes has been attached to the cytosolic phase of the endoplasmatic film. Thus, regarding the structural aspects, these are called tubules and these are called sacs. You know, tubules. These are tubules and these are flattened sacs. And these are cisternes regarding Golgi complex. You know, then these ribosomes they synthesize proteins, and these proteins they get inside the rough endoplasmatic what we call lumen. And, and inside the rough endoplasmatic lum, these proteins are subjected to what we call protein folding and modifications. We have discussed in the previous class about what exactly protein folding and modifications. Protein folding means here. Structural or conformation that means the protein, the synthesized protein has to attain a proper structural conformation. That means 3D structure for its functional specificity. If a protein fails to perform, that means folds properly, it leads to disorder like cystic fibrosis. We have discussed at length about you know protein folding, and that means attainment of specific structural conformation is protein folding, and will be done by the proteins called chaperons. You know, chaperons, that means they are called heat shock proteins. For example, heat heads HSB70. They aids in the interactions over the polypeptide surface. That means what we call protein folding. And after protein folding, the next is protein modification. Protein modification are different modifications like, you know, phosphorylation, hydroxylation, glycosylation, methylation. These are all different chemical modifications. Say, if they may add one chain or a side chain of sugar molecules or else a phosphate tax for example you know glycosylation for example if the protein is targeting to lysosomes glycosylation is essential because glycosylated compounds and acetyl glucose amine like for instance will be recognized by lysosomes that means based on the destination say n acetyl glucose amine the the appropriate modification will be done what we call chemical modification simply covalent modifications and these protein modifications that means in addition to protein folding will be done inside the rough endoplasmatic lung. that means say protein folding and modifications here different modifications i told for instance phosphate addition phosphorylation you know pyruvate kinase they add phosphate groups or methylation like that okay then after that a strand a vesicle will be developed you know i told you already the vesicles vesicles are nothing but small membrane bound structures they are useful for transporting substance whereas vacuoles are comparatively larger substances you know they are larger spaces which contains water and waste materials most probably they are present as a large substance components in plants 
they also may useful in maintaining of proper shape as well and these vesicles you know after the protein that means folding and modifications these are called these what we call modifications they will get into vesicle then pinch off in the form of bird and these will bud they will direct to golgi complex and golgi complex is very important so the first the first word is done regarding rough end of say endoplasmic reticulum and it will proceed to golgi golgi complex is called post master of the cell because the packaging for example if i want to send a, my a particular post to mumbai first i have to i have to a, 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 a post it properly in appropriate post office then it will go to head post office then they will packaging section will then they will reach uh, to appropriate destination to proper channel what we call say vijay what will bhavani put in one point two you know uh, uh, main branch and main branch to the journal office journal office up then the sub office then up to mumbai there is a proper channel the same here that means to proper packaging but before the proper tagging for tagging in a sense it has to contain the address to which it has to get destined that means to which it has to get transport or transported the same concept here that means the packaging should be done in golgi complex what we call packaging yet not just packaging here add additional components you know like sorting labeling then packaging then transport these are all done in golgi complex So that means here how for example when the transport vesicle reaches the golgi complex it will get release it contain that means in the cis phase the cis phase is called the receiving phase of golgi complex whereas the opposite is called trans phase and these are all flattened disc what we call sister nay that's it okay and when it releases content inside the sister sister nay it will be subjected to modifications i told you already modification means just unlike the modifications done in endoplasmic reticulum they will they, they will be different day this means either the short chains of glue sugar units may be added or removed tagging what we call tagging tagging means phosphate ends i told you already depending on the kind of destination it has to get tagged phosphate groups or methyl groups what we call modifications okay they serve as markers this is, this is very important markers how they get this uh, targeted I, they, here there is a close connection between different concepts like protein targeting protein folding and endoglomerular system these are all closely associated particularly protein targeting and protein folding so it seems we are discussing that is why i have explaining about endoglomerular system today which is extension of the class today's class which we have extended at length about uh, protein targeting and unfolding as well okay and it is called tagging that means phosphate ends or methylation ends which are serve as markers based on the destination and will done in the lysosome no, sorry golgi complex okay then it will be the trans phase the entire content is ready say the protein here the disc here the kind of protein is secretory protein that uh, we have discussed secretory protein means which is meant for export outside the cell i told you already endoplasmic system not just outside the cell that means export but intracellular transport say for example they may synthesize lipids they may synthesize proteins which is meant to transport to other cellular components other cellular structures say for example membrane protein structures say they may synthesize membrane proteins which may useful as membrane protein anchors anchoring the plasma membrane or lipids that may carry to some other membranes are bound for lysosomes that means anti transport system has been all established by this endoplasmic system what we call gi order region so for a while to for under for proper understanding i am taking example of secretory proteins that means exporting then after it is a trans phase in the form of a pinch of a, a vesicle a bud off from the you know trans phase and then they will read the plasma membrane it will fuse the content will release outside exocytosis that means say the rough endoplasmic reticulum how the, me the mechanism and that means how the endoplasmic transport system works first they will synthesize in rough endoplasmic reticulum then the protein folding and protein modification then transport vesicle then will reach the cis phase of golgi complex then again protein modification like addition or that means regard the short sugar chains they may add or they remove 
or even the tags like phosphate tags which are be considered as markers which are which are useful in sorting you know sorting means i don't know already for example some of some other posts are different for mumbai some other posts are different for hyderabad some are for delhi or to call sorting of sorting is based on labeling and this labeling is based on markers the markers are just like you know phosphate groups and others this is the connection okay this all will be done in golgi compound that is why it is aptly considered as a first of the packaging cell compound of the cell and this is an essential compound of the eukaryotic cell just imagine there is no golgi complex the antagonist cell system get disrupted no because we really, there is a regular requirement of cell lipase that means say proteins both for exporting or intracellular proteins or lipids say for example you know steroid hormone say for example the smooth endoplasmic reticulum they synthesize steroid hormones the smooth endoplasmic smooth endoplasmic reticulum also they detoxify the poisons and they are after they get synthesized they have to get up to turn targeting to appropriate locations for example there is no golgi complex when the system goes wrong get disrupted that's the important of golgi com and it is a crux point for this endomembrane transport system okay let us back what we call four phosphatidine or say glucose six phosphate or mannose one phosphate like the five for instance for understanding okay not the, not exactly the same but what exactly the tagging say if you want to go to hyderabad you will pick up the hyderabad bus like we got of like the same compound compound here as well then after the golgi com reach the transphase then in the form of a vesicle to relieve and fuse the plasma membrane and ultimate exocytosis Here lysosomes are also important components of endomembrane system because here it is different to secretory proteins. But sometimes the proteins that are not secretory that they are not destined to reach outside the cell. That means export. They may be for inside the cell. What we call intracellular transport. Say the transport system is ready, but it it may reach the lysosomes. You know lysosome what exactly contains? Say the hydrolytic enzymes. You know when when whenever we come across cell organisms, there there are certain certain confusions like. the peroxisomes and lysosomes lysosomes are the hydro hydrolytic enzymes which are useful for recycling they may you know they may recycle the cellular structure so that the cell can reuse the same and of course the sewage will back to the cell it's a, that means digestive for example you know more number of lysosomes are present depending on the function requirement okay more number of lysosomes are present in macrophages because the macrophages simply they eat what we call phagocytosis say the a foreign subject object has been entered into the cell that means inside the body the phagocytosis to macrophages and this phagocytosis means the phagosome the cellular structure formed inside the macrophage say this is phagosome for example this is macrophages okay then it will form a phagosome this is lysosome this is phagosome this lysosome phagosome this is macrosome macrophages okay combines to form phagolysosome and this phagolysosome will digest in the foreign particles they they will form of a, you know antigen determinants and present the appropriate what we call you know apts it's all about immune system okay antigen presenting cells this is how that may depend on the requirement they will perform for example if they take liver which are meant for secretory liver that means the protein synthesis in liver has to get exported a more number of blood front plasmatic will be present over there If the if the if the main requirement is to synthesize steroid hormones, then more number of I mean bunches of smooth endoplasmic reticulum will be there because smooth endoplasmic reticulum is mainly concerned with the synthesis of steroid hormones. At the same time, it also concerns the, the the detoxification. You know, <coughs> for example, liver is considered as a chemical laboratory or organ of the body because it it has different roles. One function is detoxification. That means If the particular fun function detoxification, then more number of smooth endoplasmic reticulum will be there. So, depending on the kind of activity, the appropriate cellular components will get accentuated or will get proliferated. That means increase in count. That's it. So, these are the simple examples. Second type of this. So, say lysosomes. And sometimes vacuoles are also there. The vacuoles are nothing but the they are the bigger substances. Then compared to vesicles, vacuoles are relatively larger in size, generally in plants. They store water and waste materials and also give proper shape to the plants. This is very important. And I told you already. Whenever we come together, there come come some confusions. Lysosomes and peroxisomes. Lysosomes are hydrolytic enzymes, whereas peroxisomes are different. Here they are con they are contains enzymes which oxidizes the fatty acids and amino acids. You know what we call oxidization. Oxidation of fatty acids and amino acids, wherein 
the hydrogen peroxide is a byproduct but not the end product that is when peroxisomes hydrogen peroxide h2o2 since it is a byproduct they attain the name as peroxisomes both that means both lysosomes and peroxisomes they have the common compound that means they are still in digestion but their digestive role is different the kind okay and the most important compound in examination point of view, in endogamous system like here there is no involvement of mitochondria there is no involvement of chloroplast there is no involvement of peroxisome this is very important so they simply ask you which one of the following cellular organelles is not a part and parcel of endomembrane system say the one option out of the four is say, mitochondria or chloroplast they may give like mitochondria chloroplast or peroxisomes these are not the part of essential that means there no way they are part of the endomembrane system and how this endomembrane system got originated the most important point is about the endomembrane system how they work that means they work in tandem they work together the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi complex, and the lesions, particularly what we call GE or religion, and how they got originated. To answer this question, the it it is linked to some another question, what we call origin of eukaryotes. That means the very origin of eukaryotes is connected to the origin of endomembrane system, and this origin of eukaryotes again depending on endosymbiotic origin of mitochondria. These are all these three components are interrelated that means origin of endomembrane system connected to origin of eukaryotes and origin of eukaryotes connected to origin of endosymbiotic link of mitochondria but recently the people suggest that outer membrane vesicle what we call omv outer membrane vesicle coming from endosymbiotic mitochondrial secretion that means Connected to endosymbiotic mitochondrial secretion, they, this is what we call OMV, outer membrane vesicle. This is the most apt model for the origin of endomembrane transport system. Okay, and the bottom line is same. Here, yeah, this is simple. The you know, Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, and lysosomes are the most uh, essential for core elements. Apart from the nuclear envelope, here yeah, there is no direct role of nuclear envelope in plasma membrane. The thing is, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, it Connects to nuclear membrane, that's it. Whereas plasma membrane, if it is for intracellular transport, it doesn't have actually plasma membrane is outside, but it has it does have its role, but technically it is not because technically because plasma membrane is outside the peripheral part, it is a, at the juncture of the internal and the external says external environment. But here, since it it it, it has its role because of the exocytosis. Say with respect to secondary protein, that is how they together. I told you in the beginning, a set of membranes and organelles which work together as a common functional entity which all leads to compartmentalization what we call balkanization of the eukaryotic cell that we say endoplasmic it branches off into the eukaryotic cell and the Golgi complex and that means different distinct structural and functional entities has been established because of this endomembrane system say i told you already Golgi complex as a postman that means sorting Packaging, transporting, endoplasmic, you know, both rough and smooth, rough hair itself, say, say secondary proteins, so for example, in case of liver cell, much amount of rough endoplasmic reticulum are there, and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, since it's of steroid hormones, detoxification, then lysosomes, they have, the, the, they are membranous bound structures which had a role in the way of hydrolytic enzymes, since it's a hydrolytic enzyme, they are useful for recycling and digestion process, thank you. that means, this, Endomembrane system creates different units, which are distinct units. They have each other distinct units, but together function. They together perform as a functional entity when it matters. That's the most important. And at the most important point, there is no involvement of mitochondria, chloroplast, and peroxisomes. This is about the endomembrane system, and which is the essential system for both intracellular transport at the same time secretory proteins. Okay. In the next class, we will discuss another relationship. Thanks for watching.